back to life and what it means for parents. Science is slowly taking over the world with beautiful intentions worthy of praise. These technology were made to make our life easier from household equipment to office task helpers and business equipment. Soon, even the tiniest of jobs would be done by intelligent robots. Gone are the days when a robot is a scary giant metal. With intelligent robots like Sophia and Han, are we sure our world is safe? I know you can confidently pat scientists on the back. It must be very difficult to put your whole life into researching, lab works, or sometimes continuing a previous project by an already deceased scientist. Come on, these guys deserve some accolades. But we should call them to order when they cross the line, like making attempts to create human beings who are not robots. That's a story for another day. And now this, a technological womb that imitates the uterus, a project that began since the 1950s. What is the future going to be like? Do you mean we're now going to have tech kids and natural kids? This is supposed to look good for some couples who can't have children and single people who would love to have kids without getting married. Why we pay attention to the advantages? Let's not get blinded. The disadvantages are quite grievous. No one is saying they can't do their thing. It's the very act of wanting to be God that gives me concern or even trying to hinder God's order of doing things. Welcome to Parenting Aid. We give insights into childcare, fatherhood, and motherhood. This is the point you hit the like button, share the link to all the women in your life. They need to come see what the future of being a mother looks like with science involvement. How does Ectolife work? The egg and semen of a couple goes through a development process, just like it happens in the woman's body, but this time it is artificially done. The fertilized egg, which is called an embryo, is placed in a transparent pod in a future lab that is predicted to house 30,000 babies. This invention does not end here. Scientists are also working on personalized pods that would be powered by renewable energy so that rich parents can watch over their babies under their roof. Guess what? The Chinese who are making a similar invention has taken theirs a step further. There is going to be an AI nanny to watch over babies in the lab. Since man can't create humans, we can improve the physical features of our babies. The Ectolife facility comes in packages. With the Elite package, you can customize your own baby. Sounds interesting, right? You have over 300 genes to choose your baby traits from. You can decide your child would have red hair even if you're blonde. You can fix genetic health problems, height issues, the color of your baby eyes, the IQ of your child can be fixed too. Now, men can interrupt God's creativity and women no longer have to boast about carrying a child in their womb for nine months and all the stress it takes to become a mom. Some mothers complain this invention wouldn't allow moms bond with the fetus. This truth I'm about to let out would surprise you even more. An app has been developed to help parents track the growth of their babies, watch over them as each pod has a camera that allows parents see their babies, talk to them, sing to them to build a mother-child bond or father-child bond as the case may be, the babies are able to recognize their parents' voice from constantly hearing their parents talk to them through the app. You can help your child pick interest in foreign languages by playing a foreign conversation to their ears. You can pick from a wide variety of songs for your baby to listen to while they grow. Scientists claim the system and lab is extremely hygienic. There are two tubes that are connected to the babies via an artificial umbilical cord. Waste is eliminated via one of the tubes, while food, oxygen, and every other thing your baby requires for growth is provided via the other tube. The lab power supply cannot go out, as it is powered by wind and solar energy. Now to the real question, what does Ectolife mean for parents? Ectolife is still in the pipeline, but in 10 years to come, these invention would become a reality. This list is supposed to help us think things through and see in real time what the future holds for parenting. Number 1. The dynamics of parenting would change. Change. Kids these days are extremely smart creatures, not to mention customized ones. Would parents be able to raise obedient kids at all since their minds are programmed? Number two, babies would be born without emotions. Humans are different from robots because we have emotions. Some people have said the plan is to populate the world with robotic humans who can go into the army. I really don't know how true that is, but one thing is certain those babies would not be normal babies. They would be more logical than emotional. Number three, every one now has equal opportunity to become parents. Childbearing issues would be seriously dealt with 
But bear in mind, this is accessible for just the rich. Number four, motherhood is lost. When a woman becomes pregnant, her body is prepared to nurture a child. She did not only carry this child in her womb, but she also carried this baby in her heart. Also, lactation can only happen if a woman gets pregnant. Are we saying babies would not be needing breast milk anymore? Number five, there might be issues with paternity tests. I know the documentary says the baby would be tested and confirmed as your child before taking them away. Way. Why does it feel like something is fishy? You mean after choosing my child's features from several other genes, the child is still genetically mine? What if the test was a way to keep more data for genes? Number six, health challenges. We may have to face new sicknesses. A child was exposed to electrical waves for nine months, ate from an artificial umbilical cord, and this child is still healthy. If microwaves are unhealthy for foods, what makes the pod healthy for babies? Number seven, if scientists can have 30,000 data of babies yearly. Don't you think it is dangerous? You still don't get it. It means to have the whole world in their hands. Will your children truly be yours? Can they not be controlled? Since you have no idea what happens while you're away, are these babies truly safe? Number 8. Business has gone bad for surrogate mothers. Depending on how expensive ectolife is, surrogacy might soon fade away. Even if it remains, surrogacy would be more affordable and accessible. This is because surrogate mothers now have a competition. Number 9. Often homes might soon begin to record a serious reduction in adoption. Why raise another man's child when you can have yours? Number 10. Babies could lose their lives just with a tap of a button. This was created to stop miscarriages and birth complications. What happens if the system shuts down? Would that not be worse than a miscarriage? I remember Titanic, one of the most impossible invention man ever created. A gigantic flowing ship. It could never sink. So we thought until it made that first trip but never returned with thousands of life lost. Then, there is the Tower of Babel from Bible days. Well, here is the point. Anything that questions the deity of God usually goes wrong. What do you think about Ectolife? I'd like to hear your thoughts. Did you find this content insightful? Then you should share with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our interesting life-changing parenting insights. Till next time, bye for now.